I love reading your comments on part one about how being told not to Google these things only made you want to Google them more. So get ready for some more bizarre searches to add to your history again, because we are doing a part two. Get your search bar ready because here is the next part of the top 10 terrifying things you should never Google. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have bot fly removal. Okay, we're starting off strong. Taylor and I used to watch this vet show a lot, and there were a lot of these on there. And let me tell you, it is not for everyone. If you're a fan of things like Dr. Pimple Popper, you might be able to stomach this one, but should that not be up your alley, this is a Google search to definitely stay away from. Bot flies are these pesky little flies that like to lay their egg in a host. The host, which can be human or animal, will have to deal with a horrifying fat, flesh eating bot fly maggot, which will later need to be removed from your skin. It is horrible. People will go to the doctor or take their animal to the vet because they noticed a strange bump. Little do they know, there is actually an entire maggot living in their skin. It's honestly disgusting. The, just the thought of it gives me chills. But there is relief at the end, which is always good. It's honestly just surprising to see the damage that these creatures leave behind. But you'll thank me later if you just don't Google it. It's one image I'll never be able to erase from my mind. In our number nine spot today, we have the Victor Sayenko video. Victor is just one part of a group that is responsible for a string of in Ukraine that took place in June and July of 2007. In the end, he was charged with 29 separate incidents, 21 of which were and the rest were incidents where the victims thankfully survived the horrendous attacks. Aside from just how extremely terrible this entire thing is, the case gained a certain notoriety because of the fact that there was actually a recording of one of these crimes that was leaked and found its way onto the internet. That is because the people committing these acts had intended to sell the videos of them being done, which is thought to have been the biggest motivation for the crimes. In the end, Victor was found guilty of all of these crimes and is currently serving a life sentence, but that video still lurks a out there unfortunately on the internet and I think it definitely goes without saying that this is something that is just not safe for life. In our number eight spot today, we have pillows under a microscope. This one may seem a little specific, but just you wait. Pillows are the thing we rest our weary heads on every night to get our eight hours. Who am I kidding? Most of us are getting what? Four? Regardless of whoever sleeps the most or the least, our pillows all are going to be looking a little similar. The pillow seems so inviting, so warm, so cozy. It's a safe place, right? Wrong. You get up close to that thing, view it under a microscope, and you reveal all the other things that also like to rest their little heads on it. Under a microscope, the common house dust mites that lurk on many of our pillows become alarmingly visible. And as we speak, there's probably more than you'd like to know living on yours. These guys like to live on your pillow because their favorite food is your dead skin cells. Yeah. It's disgusting. I'd appreciate it if they could at least do something to alleviate nightmares, but no, they just are the nightmare. In our number seven spot today, we have feeding time at an eel farm. One day on Reddit, I came across a video that was titled feeding time at an eel farm, which I mean is exactly what the video is. But man, I was not expecting it to look like this. As soon as they drop the food in, a bunch of freaky little water snakes immediately start jumping at it. But like, when I say a bunch, it's so much more than I could have ever expected. There is something about this video that really feeds into the whole fear of the ocean thing. And while this video is definitely oddly terrifying, it's also important to note the danger of these eel farms, especially for the kinds of eels that are endemic to an area, those that are endangered, or both. Eels are long living creatures who only breed once and they don't do it in captivity. When most of a generation of eels are caught, it proves to be a really large problem in terms of population. In our number six spot today, we have zombie ants. These infected creatures are so horrifying to me. They honestly are like nightmare fuel. There is a type of insect pathogenic fungus that is commonly found in tropical forest ecosystems. This fungus infects a certain kind of ant and once infected, this ant basically turns into a zombie. Good news is the ant doesn't suddenly go around eating others of its kind, but it is still being controlled and manipulated by this fungus. The ant will leave their nest and usual trails and head for the forest floor, which has better conditions for fungal growth. From here, the ant will then bite and attach itself to the major vein on a leaf, and basically they just stay there until they die, which is usually around four to 10 days. During these days, the fungus will basically start to sprout out of the ant's head, so as 
just to be prepared to infect the next unsuspecting creature. And that is what Google will show you awful images of. Maybe it's because I hate bugs so much that this one disturbs me, but I don't know. It's just really unsettling. I get like Last of Us vibes from this one. In our number five spot today, we have lamprey eye disease. I'll be totally honest and upfront with you. This is something that is not real and instead was a classic internet hoax, but that doesn't mean it wasn't based on a real thing, and it also doesn't mean that the very unsettling photoshopped photos of it aren't completely upsetting imagery. Basically, a lamprey is a real waterbound parasite fish that has ancient lineage here on Earth, and they also have the creepiest looking head in the world. So the people of the internet decided to create and spread news of this fake disease inspired by the real creature's weird head, and thus lamprey disease was born. And in my opinion, lamprey eye disease was the worst of all of the lamprey options. It's exactly what it sounds like, and basically a search of lamprey eye disease will reveal images of a person whose eye has been photoshopped to appear like the head of that parasite. While I can rest easy, knowing I'll never experience this in real life, there are some images that just should never exist, whether photoshopped or not. In our number four spot today, we have the 80s Kleenex commercial. There is a legend that suggests there is actually a curse surrounding this really weird and creepy Kleenex commercial that aired in the 80s. The commercial itself is very strange, and it depicts some sort of ogre child thing being sung to by a woman who is acting really strangely, and the song she is singing is also perfectly fit for a horror movie. The ad was quickly pulled from the air as it had people calling in explaining that they were really creeped out by it, but of course the internet took hold of it beforehand. So that creepy looking child I mentioned before, well many people believe that it resembles an oni demon. There are of course major consequences for looking at a demon, which is exactly what this urban legend surrounds. Basically, legend goes that the crew who worked in this commercial production ended up all passing away after working on the commercial, all in really mysterious ways, which people of course believe is due to the demon on set. All in all, I think these haunting tales are enough to have me staying away from googling it any further. In our number three spot today, we have The Island of the Dolls. The Island of the Dolls is basically exactly what it sounds like, and while it is exceptionally creepy to look at, the story behind Behind it is even more disturbing. The island sits in the canals south of Mexico City and is the home of many, many absolutely terrifying and mutilated dolls. Even in the daylight, dolls look creepy with their missing limbs and heads and weird beady eyes, but at nighttime, the island is nightmare fuel. The story behind this island is very tragic. It starts off with the only person on the island, Don Julian Santana, finding a body. He was of course absolutely beside himself over this gruesome discovery, and shortly after, he saw a doll floating by in the water. He strung the doll up in a tree in order to appease her soul and to protect the island from evil. While this is an extremely dark story and the dolls are very, very creepy, I think we can all certainly understand why the dolls definitely needed to stay there. In our number two spot today, we have thrush. If you were searching this term, looking for a plump, soft plumaged, small to medium sized bird, you might want to be a little more specific. This is because just the general term might have Google confusing your harmless bird interest for something else. Thrush is also the term used to describe a certain infection caused by a yeast which is called candida. Candida lives on and in all of us, but sometimes Sometimes there can be a change that causes it to multiply, and this can cause an infection and an overgrowth. Thrush is seen when the fungal growth takes over the mouth, throat, or esophagus, and while this is not something that is uncommon at all, it definitely can be a bit surprising when you expected a cute little bird and instead got images of someone's esophagus. This is one Google search that you definitely need to be clear about what you're searching for, because who knows what results might show up. In our number one spot today, we have your symptoms. It really is the classic tale. You start having symptoms, whether common ones or not, and you take to the search bar to input those symptoms, hoping for some kind of an answer or perhaps a home remedy, and boom, you are met with the news. Your symptoms could only mean one thing, a rare terminal illness. I swear, according to Google, that is the answer every time. And to be honest, this could be quite dangerous in a multitude of ways. Firstly, the panic. 
It's always best not to send yourself into a downward spiral for no reason, and it is definitely true that a Google search is not the same as a real doctor visit. Now, I totally know that a doctor visit isn't always accessible to everyone, and sometimes we do have to rely on a bit of our own research to carry us through, but be wary of the results. Don't get too spooked at what you see come back, but if you do happen to get worried, it's always good to get a second opinion when you can. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.